here it's anonymous tea where we spill the tea anonymously hello 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 everyone hello youtubers hope you guys are all having an amazing day today sending good vibes sending positivity sending blessings and good energy to each and every single one of you thank you so much for tuning in so today we are talking the british royal family today we are talking about the foolery that they tried to pull on us once again with more photoshopped and 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 weird footage of the supposed kate middleton today which we are going to talk about all of it you guys i uh, first things first in all of my videos we need to put out the disclaimer that i cannot confirm that kate middleton is still here on this earth I cannot confirm that Kate Middleton knows where she's at, knows what's happening. I cannot confirm that Kate Middleton physically can tell us today's date and time, you boys. I don't understand why it is so hard for the royal family to put in a high quality video and have Kate Middleton sit in the front of us and talk to us like real time, like real time as in the BBC cameras are physically right there next to her. And this is not old footage from yesteryear like they continue to put out. So today, everybody's, you know, they're foaming at the mouth, right? Because TMZ is like, listen, we got this exclusive from The Sun. You know, they, they earlier they had released the reports that, that Kate and Will had went to, you know, some market, some farm uh, earlier and all the things, and, and it was quiet. Nobody talked to them. And I was immediately like, oh, you want me to believe that nobody noticed Prince William and, and Kate Middleton? as much as you guys love shoving her down our throats. No, 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 Why number one, right? Uh, next thing, uh, you know, TMZ releases this footage and it is a hot mess from the start. There there are some loyal Kate Middleton, um, you know, believers that, that seem to think that this was her because they, they really want this to be over, right? They want this to be over because they don't want the truth out there. But the problem is you keep I covering up the lie with more lies. So so we're not getting to the truth is the problem. So so when you do things like this, we have to investigate. We have to tear apart all the lies so we can get to the truth. And, and I don't know what's going on with the British royal family. I don't know why they think Americans are dumb. I have no clue why they think Americans are stupid and that we're idiots and that we're clueless and that we are not going to question anything. And they made the same mistake with Meghan Markle, thinking that they could just treat her any old kind of way and she was just going to stay in the UK and put up with it. No, 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 no. We are of a different breed over here. We don't play games like this. We don't play Photoshop games. We don't play any type of games, uh, you know, with our celebrities, with our athletes. If there is some tomfoolery going on, we're going to expose it. There, there, there's not going to be any room for you to try to pull the wool over our eyes. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Nope. We've been there. We're, we've done that. We're not new to this. We're true to this, people. Uh, so in this footage that was released, you guys, the first thing I noticed was uh, Christmas decorations. And I was like, Christmas is in December. And we are in uh, towards the end of March. So right away, I was like, this is not real footage. This is not real time, right? Next, I can't even confirm if even what that's Prince William in the uh, in the footage, right? Because even in the stills, it still doesn't even really look like him. So I can't even confirm that that's even them. I thought, you know, I'm thinking it's probably a body double for both. I, I'm sure that's not Kate, right? The first thing when I saw her ears... I said, this is Lord of the Rings. I said, these are the ears from Lord of the Rings. This cannot be Kate Middleton. And then somebody else on Twitter was like, I can, you know, write out Kate Middleton's hairline with the, the letter M. So, so then that was, <laughs> so then they said, that's not Kate Middleton. And, and and here's the thing, the Kate Middleton that they gave us initially, what, from like almost two weeks ago, I uh, was, had a lot of a fuller face, looked like Katie Holmes. And all the things, you know, that photo with her mom, where it was the Photoshop photo that had five tires somehow. Remember that photo? And then remember the photo for Mother's Day, where Katie's, <laughs> Kate's, Kate's face from a magazine cover from like 10 years ago was Photoshopped in. And the kids uh, and various things were Photoshopped in to make it look like it was real and that Prince William had taken this for Mother's Day. Except for, I don't believe for a second Prince William has seen or heard from Kate in quite some time. 
I refuse to believe it, you guys. I think these are body doubles. So, so already my spidey senses are going off. And then we have a very frail looking, quote unquote, Kate, right? Uh, who is supposed to be recovering from severe abdominal surgery, supposed to be out of commission until, uh, well, I thought originally it was April, but now the reports are now trying to push it to May and June. Um, and how about we just push it to never? Never, ever, ever land. How about that? But nonetheless, I have never seen somebody sprint so fast that was recovering from abdominal surgery and had to cancel all of their engagements and, and refusing to work. And Wong's completely checked out. He's completely completely checked out. That's why he wants to kill these affair stories, right? But, you know, again, I the integrity it is so lost in all of this, right? Because why is People Magazine, the New York Post, and Page Six selling out, selling their souls uh, to put out more lies? So they decided since everybody was going in, because once again, we're getting grainy footage. We are getting grainy pictures and grainy footage as if this is going to be the confirmation when we're in 2024 and everything's high quality, you guys. Everything's in 4K and, and whatever else K. So, so there is no excuse that we cannot get a HD quality headshot and HD quality footage to confirm that is Kate Middleton or not. But nonetheless, People Magazine, Page Six, and the New York Post, they decided we can't run any grainy footage on our platform. We need something that's high quality, that looks like our Getty image photos that we get of our celebs on the regular. So you know what they did? They decided to post pictures of Kate and William from November of 2023, you guys. That is correct. They are putting out false information, fake news to the people that this is a recent uh, Kate Middleton and, and Prince William photo, as in like, now they're trying to pass this off as now that this is kate middleton she looks great uh she's happy she's healthy she's all these things but it's from november 2023 you guys so so again so everybody's calling them out in the comments on their publications because you know even though those questions of integrity sometimes usually uh, page six and the New York Post and People magazine used to be closer to the truth once upon a time. That used to be a trusted source that celebrities and publicists would go to whenever they wanted to release certain stories, whether it was a relationship, a baby, a scandal, whatever. They would get the exclusives there before TMZ uh, is getting these exclusives now, right? But again, trying to play in the face of Americans is not going to end well. And all this is giving is this is giving a crisis. Here's the thing. We didn't need to see Kate. If you already put out a press release that she was going to be out of commission till Easter or after, that should have been what you stuck to. But you got caught up and all the conspiracy theories and the tinfoil hats and you were concerned that people were on to you about what really happened to Kate. So you were like, no, we have to put out a distraction. We have to make them think that she is still here with us because this is ruining, William, your alleged divorce rollout. This is ruining your plans because you want to hurry up and move on to the next woman. You have checked out completely of Kate. You have no use for Kate anymore and you want nothing to do with her. And you feel that this is all ruining her plans. All of the media focusing in on Kate right now. This is not good for you because you want to be done with her. You want the media to be done with her. But the problem is you guys keep pushing her out here and it's not her. You keep pushing out AI generated and, and, and body double versions of Kate Middleton and actors who are not Kate Middleton and trying to fool the public and trying to convince the public that this is her and trying to, you know, desperately kill this story so that we can move on to something else, right? So that we can move on to something else and, and the heat is off of you, right? And, and I'm just laughing because this is only a couple of weeks of just chaos and just, uh, you know, bad press, lies, scamming, Photoshop fails, and everything. 
Well, Megan had to deal with this for years in the UK and nobody said anything. Nobody was concerned about Meghan Markle's, you know, mental health. Nobody was concerned about whether or not the stories were true. They believed it because it came from the Daily Mail. It came from the Sun. So why would they lie? You know, why would Kate lie on, on Meghan Markle? No, 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 no. And it's funny because the same Kate Middleton that we know loves the spotlight. Loves the spotlight and immediately looks for the camera. And make sure that you see her uh, eye to eye with that camera lens. So that right away told me it was not her either. And then the shoddy job that whoever uh, took this footage did was is completely and utterly embarrassing. Because you're trying to tell me that there was no security around, that you were able to just get this footage, and, and since there was no one near them, you couldn't get anything closer? That would be high quality. You have to, again, do the zoom out, the zoom out blur, the zoom out fuzzy photos, the zoom out grainy, and you think people are dumb and they're not going to go into their Photoshop programs and, uh, you know, try to make the picture sharper and try to take away your errors that you made in the footage so that we can get closer to whoever this actually is in the photo. Because it's not Kate Middleton. Listen. She may very have well lost a lot of weight, you guys, but but I'm here to tell you that uh, Ozempic and Manjaro and Wagovi, they don't work that fast. You're trying to tell me a puffy face and, and somebody who looks like they might have put on a few pounds just a week and a half ago that looked like Katie Holmes. You're trying to tell me that's the same woman today that is completely skinny, uh, sticks and bones. That's what you're trying to convince me of today because I'm going to tell you you're full of it. Even people who are not conspiracy theorists like myself know that this is wrong. Know that something is wrong. Something is horribly wrong. Either Kate Middleton is locked away in a dungeon somewhere. Either Kate Middleton is locked away at a mental hospital somewhere. Either Kate Middleton is in a coma from this alleged abdominal surgery. Either Kate Middleton is uh, suffering from sort of dementia or amnesia and, and is not, um, doesn't have, you know, all of her faculties or something. Or the worst, yes, that she may not be here with us physically on this earth at all. And they're just waiting for the right time to, to roll out the story to roll out how they're going to play on this out. But the problem is they keep making matters worse. And it doesn't matter how much you try to pay off these publications to flip the narrative and try to pivot to something else. You have just sealed your fate. So unless you can do the most simplest thing you could have done months ago, literally after the surgery, uh, you know, it, it, presumably if the um, if the receipts were fake that she was not in a coma after the surgery, immediately you could have just put a camera in front of her face at the hospital in a hospital ground and say, hey, guys, the surgery went OK. I'm going to be out. Uh, you know, I'm hoping to get, you know, recuperated by April or May or whatever. We wouldn't have to do all of this, you guys. Even King Charles continues to show his face and, and he's supposed to be getting treatment for cancer. And, and whether you like him or not, uh, those of you who have ever had cancer or have had a loved one who has gone through cancer, it is no, you know, joke. There's a lot you go through if you need to have surgeries, if you have to go through chemo, if you have to go through radiation, if you have to do all three, depending on the stage and the severity of the cancer you have. So the fact that even a fake death rumor on King Charles was trending for a day. He was able to be produced in 24 hours out to the people, making it known, making it seen that, hey, I am still here. But for several months now, for all of 2024, we cannot get produced a real Kate Middleton. And there is something wrong with that, people. There is absolutely something wrong with that. There is no excuse for us to see not see her since last year. No, 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 no. And her own staff doesn't know where she is and they haven't seen or heard from her. No, 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 no. Her things are gone. Her things, she's done. I'm telling you, she's done one way or the other with the royal family. But the problem is 
they're making this worse on themselves because they just will not be honest. And that is what ultimately ran um, Meghan and Harry out of there because Harry knows what this family is capable of. He knows what they did to his mom. And he was not about to have that happen to Meghan Markle. And Kate Middleton, she was so caught up in her hate for Meghan Markle that she could have planned her escape too. And she could be out here living it up in the U.S. But no, she felt threatened. She felt a certain type of way. Those, you know, the prejudice, the racist came out. And, uh, you know, she was trying to, you know, make up stories and, and really make Meghan Markle seem so horrible. And misinterpret everything Meghan Markle said and did to make it look bad, to make it look worse than what the situation actually was. And now look who is in their own scandals. Now look who is being subjected to all of these lies because the truth is a lot more darker. The truth of where Kate actually is and what actually happened to her is a lot more darker. Because the fact that they refuse to produce a real Kate Middleton and doing the easiest thing that the royal families ever do, anytime they have a baby at the hospital, they come out and, and show people really quickly, like literally uh, the moment, I mean, I don't even know, have they like taken out the placenta and everything uh, before they come out there to do the photo uh, of the new baby, of the new royal baby and take pictures with you guys? And, uh, you know, doing the pictures of their process of their whole wedding uh, celebration to, to get the photo ops for the people that are interested to say hi to the people. And you're trying to tell me for a surgery that it has Kate Middleton out of commission this long? No, 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 no. Something in the milk isn't clean. I'm sorry. Something in the milk isn't clean. And we're going to continue to monitor it because we need to get to the bottom of it. This is insane. This is complete and utter insanity. But at the same time, this is better than any other reality show that's happening right now. Because even if you are not into the British government, if you are not into the royal family, you are into this train wreck. You are into this disaster. Because we all know about AI, we all know about Photoshop, and we all know what the technology is now and where technology is heading. So there is no excuse that we do not have a real Kate Middleton in video, in real time, in a real date, saying something so that this goes away. But the problem is you keep putting out lies, lies after lies after lies, and then more lies to cover up the original lie that, that we're so far down uh, of, of the pathway of, of all the lies that have happened since this started that the only thing to do now is to either not show Kate at all or produce the real Kate Middleton or announce what really happened to her so we can stop playing this game. So there is that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.